So hey everybody, this is another segment of Jelani Time and this is like, this is to me is a, a very special, dear topic to me. Um, as you know, those who know me, I am Jelani, founder of Jelani Time and Jelani Time Productions. Um, father of the House of Vintage. And uh, I would just like to touch on this subject because um, I'm the only boy of my generation. If you don't know what that means, like, you know, you have your family, your, your gay family that you come out with, you know, you all come out around the same time, you and y'all click and y'all bond. And um, all my other family, gay family members transition. You know, transitions from um, male to female, basically. And there's some really beautiful women. So, um, this post is dedicated to all of them. The CCs, the light skin gummy bears, uh, gag. And you know, you know who you are. The Tanashas, the Tamaras, y'all all hold a special place in my heart, you know. Especially, you know, because my trans sisters look out, whatever, whatnot. But this is a reason why, this is a couple of reasons why gay men should respect transgender women more. And um, without further ado, let's get started. My number one reason I, or well, I, that I personally feel is that um, transgender women are pioneers in the LGBT community. I mean, you know, you have a couple of, you have gay men who've also broken them all. But when it comes to taking those big leaps towards LGBTQ acceptance as stuff, I feel like the trans women often push harder, you know, from Marsha P. Johnson to, sorry, to Amaya Scott, to Laomi bringing both more mainstream and so on and so forth. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but so far that has been my experience that I've seen a lot of transgender women. Oh, Laverne Cox have they have you know they have they have really broken the, the the stigma and you know the doors that was closed especially oh hold on let's take it back to um tracy africa shout out to tracy africa she follows me on instagram you know you're my idol she was like the first transgender model and that's what kind of inspired me to be a model and it's funny how life goes full circle in the ballroom scene and they also did a little segment on her off pose about, you know, her story and stuff like that. And, you know, she was real. She got through. And, you know, like, that that that's crazy. Um, two, another thing is that um, transgendered women, all trans people actually, but transgender women, um, you could learn a lot because, you know, as men, don't get us wrong, us butch queens, even though we gay, we're still men to a degree. At least like, you know, 60% men. I love you, baby girl. Transgender the woman because, you know, they've seen both sides of the living spectrum. You know, some experience me different. Some transgender women transition since they was like six years old, or they just always walked around. Or they was always perceived as women. Or Question sometimes, you know, they were like me and then they became really, really, really kind. Listen, but with that, with the, the effects of having the intelligence of, you know, your, your, your previous lifestyle as a man and then transitioning to a woman, there, there's, a high, there's a high emotional intelligence to me. At least that's has been my experience also. That, you know, they constantly have to look at people's facial expressions. They always talk into the trade or, you know, people are always undercutting them like they wasn't before. Because when you're a man, when you, when you, you, when you was before, when you was in, before you transition, right? People don't challenge you because of the system of the patriarchy. That's what you get what I mean. And then when you transition into a woman, you notice that patriarchy is there because, wait, I'm not receiving the same reaction. And then you know you need to have your witch queens around you for certain shit like that. Cause like, let, let's say if you wish to do, they won't challenge you. But that, I could get into that later. Um, comment below if you want me a part two on, you know, the emotional intelligence of transgender women and stuff like that. I'll make a second, cause I know some of y'all like that. But yeah, like they, the high emotional intelligence will teach you some things about the world and also about yourself. 
you um, know, that, you know there's difficulties and such. Like transgender women go through enough things. You feel me? Through problems with love, being fetishized, and you know it's not fun. Like being looked at as an object at all. It's not fun at all. And persona and tax, seduction, I feel it takes a lot to overcome this that, and it could be emotionally depressing like to know that certain maybe from DC don't really love you woman like Leon the way you deserve to be loved. So guess what the fuck is next? Another I'm thing, no sticking together is key. Unless I'm mainstream like when you when you with your sisters, you and let's say, out, first of all, I pay attention to how men talk to women very closely. Because that'll tell me everything I need to know about how smart you are and how humble you are as a man and as a person. When you talk to your sisters a certain way, like, I, I don't give a fuck, that's a man, that's them, and third, blah, 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 and you saw in disrespect and we're all in the same community, that means you're signaling to outside of the community how stupid you are to other people. You know, like, because we're supposed to be together, and that's just not cool. And I know not all, you know, you got some evil, you know, you got some evil fan queens. That's the, I'm sorry, that's the terminology for those of you who don't know, because I understand I got some LGBT brethren outside of the ballroom scene, but the ballroom scene terminology for um, trans women, the woman trans experience, the slang is fem queen. It also has a lot, of, a lot of connotations for that. Comment below if you want me to break the word fem queen down to you <laughs> Um... Two, when you have respect for transgender women, it's always good luck because it speaks volumes to your integrity as a man. And it earns you respect because like, it's easy to be humble when you're in a position of vulnerability. But it's harder to be humble when people are vulnerable to you and you're trying to uplift them. And last but not least, Break the stigma. You know, like, break the stigma. Like, you know, when you stick together and we're together, it's easier to break down certain social norms. As I quote a book of mine, it's far more smart to move in a group because people can't isolate you and separate you and do what they want to do, if you get what I mean. And that is all for now. Like and comment below. Subscribe to Jelani Time. There will be more episodes. I'm sorry, I'm doing the segment right now. This is season one. I haven't received my sponsorships or my ad revenue yet. She's getting up there. I shall see you in the next episode. And um, it should be like right here. Love you all. Good night.